Hi guys and welcome back to this week's vlog. Can't really see Dan's face because he's too low. Good boy. Um, so today's vlog is the vet coming. So the last vlog you would have seen is when Mittens come here and we had the saddle fitter and I said that the next video will be the vet vlog. So here we are and definitely mixed feelings. <laughs> there is nervous feeling lots of nerves isn't there mister well i don't know about you you don't really know what's going on do you um and then there's also a bit of excitement if it goes well obviously if it's a news you want to hear then there is a bit of excitement because it's going to be the best news ever but who knows it can go one or two ways today it's completely out of my control there's nothing I can do about it, and it is what it is, and just hopefully it's what we want to hear. <laughs> so if you guys are wondering kind of what I'm hoping for, what what that's coming out for, oh, hello Dan. Um, so I've been walking down out now for seven weeks, started off doing... 15 minutes of walk and by the last week I had to have completed a whole week of 45 minutes of walking by the time the vet came out. Now we have had a bit extra time just because we're meant to be, I think we were meant to be doing it for five or five weeks or six, um, but the vet couldn't come out that week so we've had an extra week, what are you doing? <laughs> Um, we have had an extra week just due to the vet not being able to come out, which obviously is not a bad thing. I'm not complaining that we've had an extra week because like, I don't want to rush anything with Dan. I want it to. I just want to take time with it because I don't want to make anything worse. I want to make sure that it's obviously all done properly so that we're not in this situation again, touch wood. Um, so, yeah, as much as obviously we've had to wait an extra week, also, it's really not a bad thing because it's given us a bit extra time. And it's the same as we had to wait an extra week before we could start the rehab because obviously we had to move Dan to do um, a little bit of trot on the flat before we could actually start the rehab. So, yeah, it's really not a bad thing. Um, so today I done, fingers crossed, my last in-hand walk with him this morning and the vet is coming out and i presume i mean i might be wrong i'm no vet or anything but i imagine she'll be doing the same thing as she done last time when she assessed to see if we were ready to start the rehab or not i'll just have to walk him in a straight line in the school or she might get me to do it on the road i don't know um and then i'll probably have to do a little trot with him to see what he's like in trot all being well if she's happy with him um and he's okay then fingers crossed i should be able to get on him which is really exciting um so yeah that's sort of the plan obviously if he's not quite ready he might need a bit extra time he might need another month or another couple more weeks of walking him in hand if he's not at the stage for me to get on him um, which I'm hoping and praying that we're, we're not going to have to do any more walking just because, not because I don't want to walk or anything like that. That's not the issue, me walking. I've done God knows how many weeks of walking because I've done it with mittens. Um, I'm not worried about me walking. It's just because he is just too much, too much of it he is. We have days where he's as good as gold and he's really well behaved. Um, but we have more days where he is being silly um so yeah he's not been fun to lead out that's for sure um and also it's been annoying because he's like bucking around and being silly and obviously i'm so worried about him making his leg worse causing himself another injury we've tried to keep it as controlled as we can but it's really not easy so yes that is today so that's why it's mixed nerves a bit of excitement because like i could potentially be getting on him but equally i don't want to be getting my hopes up because if we have got to have a bit more time i will be gutted so try not to get my hopes up too much but yeah so we just just got to see how it goes now we're gonna clip dan's legs the one i mainly want to do is the white leg for the vet 
I don't know if we'll get all four of them done. I also want to do his bridal path. As you guys know, I like to clip his legs. I just personally like his legs clipped and things. And I've been waiting last minute to do it just before the vet comes. So the legs are freshly clipped. So it's better for her to see, basically. Um, I was meant to do it on the weekend. I mentioned in the last vlog, but I forgot to charge them. And then the plan was to do it yesterday. And I put my clippers on charge the night before. But they ended up not charging. So hopefully, I've got them with me today. I'm hoping they've actually charged. We'll try and get all of his legs done before the vet comes. But if we just get the white one done, that's fine. And then we can finish it off after. So I'm going to do that. There's about an hour until the vet's coming. Um... I will film whatever we have to do with the vet and yeah just keep your fingers crossed for us guys hopefully I'm like I can't explain to you how much I've got my fingers crossed hello dad <laughs> no don't nip me um so I showed you the before um his legs in the last vlog so if you did watch that vlog um you will have seen what his legs look like but if you haven't, then I might just quickly put some clips in. He's trying to annoy me. Um, <laughs> stop. Stop now. Too much of it, you are. Oh, I'm a head roast now, apparently. Mm -hmm. You behave. The thing is, though, guys, is when people arrive or, like, on the vlog, he behaves. He, like shows like he wouldn't do a thing and it makes people believe that we just make up the rubbish about him being silly or being naughty or or whatever but trust me you can be somebody different can't you yes you can and i mean i don't blame him for being full of it he's been in box rest for nearly five months haven't you and he's only getting out to do his walk. And I do let him have grass. Um, <laughs> he's got my jumper. Don't do that. You're playful me today, are you? But I guarantee Jennifer will come up here. He won't do anything. He will be as good as gold. And we'll be telling her what a handful he's been. What a nightmare he's been to lead out. And she'll be stood there like going... Do not believe a word that's coming out of their mouth because he does not look like the type to be naughty. Yeah, that's what she'll think because that's what you will make them believe. If, only if they saw you, what you're like at times, hey? Yes, only if they saw what you was like. And I can't fault him, guys. Him in the stable, good as gold. Bring him out here. I go under his belly. Even with him being on box rest. I do not worry about him. I walk behind him. Literally not worried about him on the ground. He is good as gold. He hasn't he hasn't changed how he is in his stable. Or if he's tied up out here the whole time being on box rest. Where I know a lot of horses. They're not just a pain to walk out. They go nuts in the stable. And that being incredibly lucky. He has been brilliant through all of that. Cannot fault him. It has just been on like walking him out and i think it's a mixture of him feeling well and also the last few weeks obviously we're up in it and although we're only walking i think he's getting fitter and he's getting more energy and he's getting fitter and he's getting more lively um but yeah i can't fault him in the stable with him um or stood out here he is only a handful when being led that's the only time and i know when i can eventually get on daisy here you don't even know them. Sorry, guys. My dog ran down the lane. I had to just go and get her. For a car ran her over. But, um, yes. I am not worried one bit about actually getting on him. But like, even though it's been since April, not worried one bit. Um, I know he'll be absolutely fine. He'll probably be forward, but I know he's not going to put me in danger. It's just excitement and boredom. Isn't it, mister? But anyway, I need to get him clipped, else we're not going to get it done for the vet um so i'll see you guys in a minute for all that hair guys just want to say dan doesn't let me do his legs i don't know why he lets me clip him and do anything with him but do his legs it's so strange good boy it's really strange guys dan literally lets me do anything to him he lets me clip him. He lets me clip all around his ears. 
I only do half of his face anyway, but he literally lets me do anything to him with the clippers, anything. Legs, he will not let me do. He'll only let my mum do his legs. It's so strange, like really, really weird. I've mentioned it before. I don't know why. It's really, really strange. Anyway, guys, someone at the yard very kindly got us some roses for a thank you. So I'm currently scoffing them healthy i know hey okay, guys so dan's had his legs off they look so much better you would have seen all of the legs before in the last vlog if you watched it so this is obviously the one that he's done his injury with I've, we've also cut his tail as well but he looks so much better as you guys know in the summer we only we don't do the whole of the leg we go to here and the back ones seem to blend quite well the front ones they don't blend <laughs> You can kind of see where we've gone up to. But today's Wednesday. By friend Friday, they'll be all blended in and you won't even know we've gone to the knee. So that's why I always try and do it a few days in advance if I'm going somewhere. Because by the time I go somewhere, it's all blended. He always has his bridal path done as well. He looks so much better. And I also do like his beard. Um, because, yeah, he just looks so much better for it. So, I mean, personally, guys, I thought he looked smart before. But he looks even smarter now. And you wouldn't believe, by just taking the legs off, giving his tail a trim, and doing his bridal path and his beard, actually, what a difference it makes. You're such a smart boy, aren't you? Um, so, yeah, so he's all done now. So I'm going to put him in the stable. And now we've just got to wait for the vet to arrive. Good boy. So it really is just the waiting room now. Um, so he should be here in half an hour unless obviously he comes early and i don't know if i showed you this guys dan's got a bar here because he can be a bit at the door um so <laughs> an incident did happen on the yard with uh one of the liveries she come to give him a kiss basically it's one of the liveries that basically knew, knew dan before i even knew him she found Dan for me. I used to have lessons with her before I even knew Dan on Mitten. So known her for years, years and years and years and years, she found us Dan. And <laughs> it was always a thing when she wears lipstick, because Dan always used to be here. She used to kiss him on the nose with the lipstick and then obviously a red mark would come up of her kiss from the lipstick. And it was always a thing. And when we moved from here, when I still had him on loan, she gave him a kiss before she goes, because she absolutely adores Dan, like she, she loves him. So when she knew we was moving back here, like she was so excited to like see him and was so excited to give him a kiss. And we was up here one Sunday and she'd seen him already, but she didn't have her lipstick with her. Well, this particular day she had the lipstick, sorry, long story short. And she come to give him a kiss with his head over the door, but she couldn't do it properly. So she said, oh, I'm going to go in. So she opened the door and Dan just literally bulldozed her out the way. She tried to push him back, but he is like, I know he's not big within height wise, but he is a chunky, strong boy. And he just pushed her and she literally come flying. He pushed her to the floor and like kind of, I don't know, I think he did trod on her and he like trotted off across the other yard. We couldn't believe it because he's never like, yeah, he does get a bit pushy at the door, but he's never actually bulldozed somebody over on the floor. And I, I forgot about him. I was more worried about her on the floor and she did obviously graze herself, but luckily nothing serious. Um, and I was like, we can't have that. Like we don't want that happening to anybody else or us. It's dangerous. Um, so you know like the chain ones that you can get so we did have one of them we had it at our old place but he could like push for it he'd like push on it and ping it open so there was no we just we he had it on his door but we never bothered using it because it was like well he gets out anyway and once he'd done it once he knew he could do it so um we came up with a better idea more sturdier for him and we have this piece of wood and we went and got these from more valley hang on both sides and we've got this piece of wood that we just slide in and out to get him in and out but it's perfect because i can have the door open i don't have to worry about um you know him coming out and also like when i'm just skipping out the poos lunchtime and evening i can just go under like it's so much easier i mean he actually quite likes it because the door's open so that's a new thing we've had it for a few weeks i just i don't know why i didn't show it yesterday i forgot about it but um yeah definitely works wood's definitely better we're gonna do it with mittens and stable as well back at home because mittens doesn't really barge but 
is a good thing to have and it is easy to just slide in and out. Anyway, the nerves are really kicking in, guys. I can't lie, like, they're really bad. <sighs> this is just really reality of horses and this is why I wanted to bring you through this whole journey and show you every snippet of it because everybody goes through this at some point in their life. It's really not a nice thing to go through. Um, and I like to show the highs, the lows, the ugly. I like to show everything because like I just said, it happens to everybody. Whether people actually show it or omit it, it does happen to everyone at some point. And yeah, it is just reality at the end of the day. And it's a new journey that we have been on this year and you guys have really been through it with me and Dan. So yeah, I feel like you kind of, deserve and need to come along with us as you've come along with us so far i want to keep you in the loop with everything that's going on with every vet visit with everything that's happening and um, because yeah you guys have been following us you've been so supportive with us and things so you guys deserve to know and be kept up to date as much as us right guys i just had a phone call from the vet to say that they're running late which is perfect because i just said to my mum i was like am i gonna need a hat and that because obviously if the plan is for me to be riding him she's going to want to see me on him to make sure he's okay she's not going to be like oh, i'll get on him tomorrow and just start she's going to want to make sure he looks okay with me on him so i was like i've got a feeling that i might need i've got the saddle and the numner just because it's still in the car from yesterday but my hat boots and i don't have a pair of reins i've got his bridle because obviously i keep it here to do his in-hand walk so um Anyway, I was like, I've got a feeling, I was like, well, luckily we only live down the road, so if I've got to, we'll just have to nip home. Then we literally had a phone call from the vet to be like, running late. Yes, guys, we're just nipping home and getting my hat and that, but now I'm really excited because if he does want me to get on, it's going to be my first ride in five months. <laughs> I could cry. Days, I need my seatbelt on before we get on the road. I could cry, I, I think I'm going to cry when I get behind his ears because I'm crying now and I don't even know if I can get on him. <laughs> I know it's really pathetic guys but you don't know how long I'll be waiting for this moment and Jenny even, even said we just said to the vet do you think we'll need a hat and that it wasn't Jennifer who's seen that and she was like yeah I'd go and get it. <laughs> we have got it guys we've beaten the vet which is a good thing but then just driving down i was like i don't have any stirrups because <laughs> they're on me in the saddle and i was like i didn't think about stirrups but i said i'm not worried about stirrups they'll be all right i'll get on you about them Stay, she stay here.
I can't believe I'm saying this, but I can get on him. I can't. I can't, can't even get to his arm right now. I've waited five months for this day to come. And I can't believe. <laughs> Apologies. But, oh my God, I can't believe it. He is sound in trot. He's sound. Obviously, we've got to be careful because he can undo all of this. But she's happy with him. Obviously, I wouldn't be getting on him if I if he wasn't sound. She did give me a fright though, because I, she wanted to see him on the hard ground, not in the school. Because obviously, we need to make sure he's okay. Um, so I had to walk him down, walk him back up, and then I trotted up, and I had to trot up twice. And then she was like, "Right," and I was like, "Oh no, this doesn't sound like it's good news." She's like, I'm not happy with his feet. And I was like, oh no, like I'm not gonna be getting on him. Like this, I don't think he's sound. And obviously I've been walking him out. He's been sound and things, but obviously I can't see from behind. I like, I can't see because I'm so paranoid. That, oh no, he's not sound or whatever. So I constantly look and he looks sound to me. And I was like, oh no, like maybe he's not sound and trot. Obviously I haven't trotted him the whole time because he's not allowed to. So I haven't seen what he's like in trot. Um, and I was like, oh no, this is not good news. And then she said, his feet are looking quite long. Like, as soon as I come out the stable, she asked how long ago he had his feet done. And he only actually had his feet done like two or three weeks. Well, this, so it's Wednesday today, and this Monday will be three weeks since he's had his feet done. He goes every six weeks. Um, and she was like, they just seem quite long. She said, but the thing is, is because he, he's been stuck in his stable, so his feet haven't been like really growing much, but now he's like obviously the last seven weeks he's been out doing stuff his feet are changing again and they're growing because he's doing work this is how she explained it to me or to us um she said so that could be why she said but what like two or three weeks in it, they are quite long it would be a bit different if there was only a week left of his shoeing so she said i am just concerned about that just because obviously the longer they are the more strain they put onto his like ligaments and tendons and that can cause issues in the long run with them putting too much pressure on his joints and obviously we don't really want that especially with his bad leg so she said leave his feet at the moment because they're not nothing's gonna happen between now and his next shoeing like they're fine she said to us to pull him forward a week so instead of doing six weeks we're going to be doing five weeks with him now which is absolutely fine um, and then hopefully we can bring his feet back. It's just so that he doesn't have the strain on his joints because it's not any good for him. But she said, because we said, oh, should we have him back out and get him to redo them? And she said, no, that isn't a good thing to do anyway. And she said, nothing's going to happen now. It's just in the long run if we keep them long. So that's fine. We're going to get that sorted. But for a minute, my heart stopped and I was like, oh, no, this, this doesn't sound good. And then she said, he's fine. We can get on him under saddle but it's got to be just walking for the minute. I've got to do three weeks of walking. I can take him out for like half an hour. Um, and yeah, I can. I don't have to go down the same place where I was going. A, because he'll get bored. Also, it's not that long. We'll be constantly going back and forth. Um, so I'm able to take him out and do a little block with him, which is, oh my God, guys, I'm so excited. Um, and I've got to do that for three weeks. She's going to come out in three weeks' time because I'm going to start to turn him out, which he's going to absolutely love his life in a bit. So we walked out to his field and showed the vet his field. She's happy with um, it being on the flat and that said it's absolutely fine for him. Um, so we've got to fence off a section for him because obviously he can't go out into the full field because it's too big. We can't have him running around. But to be fair, I was expecting it to be a lot smaller than what he's having. So it's got, it can be, I think she said three times the size of his stable, but his stable is quite big. So it might be about the same size as his stable. So we've got a section a bit off and he's allowed out in there. Obviously he can walk up and down, but as long as it's not enough for him to throw himself around and canter around. So he's going to have that. Um, and she said, if the thing is we don't want to like get him in and then him starting to get silly because he doesn't want to come in so she said if he has to stay out there for two days and we don't bring him in at all she said that's fine we don't have to worry about it as long as he's not like throwing himself around so 
that is a really good positive. But what we're going to do first is I'm going to get on him and I'm going to go for about three or four days of riding him before he gets turned out. Um, and providing he's all okay, I'm not worried about riding him at all, but what she doesn't want is him like trotting on purpose or something like that, which obviously I'm not going to allow him to trot. I would actually say he's a lot worse on the ground, this is what I was saying to her, um, than me actually on him. So I'm going to do three or four days of riding him and he'll come back into the stable. And then if one of our rides where he's really good and seems really chilled, then we're going to turn him out into the field. And I thought he'd only be allowed out for like half an hour. She said, if he stays out for four hours or even out for the whole day, providing he's okay, it's fine. So I'm going to do it on an afternoon when I finish work so I can like put her around up here for um, a few hours and keep an eye on him to make sure he's not being silly. All being well, I can then turn him out in the morning and go to work and he can have a nice long time out, which is nice. And then in three weeks time, we are having her back out again, which I can't believe this. I thought it'd be a lot longer. Um, so we have got the farrier coming this Monday because we're having them done for Mittens and Dawn, not for Dan. So we're going to speak to him and say, is there any chance we can bring him like a week forward? So it's his fifth week. If he can fit us in for that Monday, she's coming in on the Wednesday and she's going to have a look at his feet, make sure she's happy with them, with the length and that. And then, um, providing he's still okay, I can start doing a bit of trot work with him. And that's only in three weeks time, guys. I was thinking I'd be doing six weeks of walk. Um, it's going to be ages until I drop. I can trot him in three weeks. Like, what? Like, I, 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 I'm speechless, guys. I am speechless. Like she thought he was silly down there when I was walking him and trotting him because he was like jig jogging and wanting to go. And I said to her, I was like, that is nothing. Like you should see him when we're down the other end and he's bucking in my face and spinning around and rearing and I'm having a heart attack that he's gonna make himself worse. I don't even know what to say, guys. I I I can feel tears coming but I can't get them out because I just I can explain how I feel. I'm just absolutely just buzzing with him. I didn't need my tack in the end, but then if I didn't have it, I probably would have needed it. So because he's already done his walk this morning, trust me guys, I'd be on him right now. He has done his 45 minutes walk this morning, so it's a bit unfair for me to get on him. So first thing tomorrow morning, before I go to work, I'm gonna be on him. We're gonna go for a ride. It's gonna be in a separate vlog. So stay tuned for the next video. Um, and I'm gonna have my first ride on him. Oh my God, I'm buzzing. So stay tuned for that vlog. Um, and we're going to go and start to go and do his field now so it's all ready for him for when he comes out so i might bring you guys along with that guys we just realized that we can't do the field yet because we've got to bend the fence or something or other so that's fine because he's not going to be going out tomorrow because i'm gonna do i'm gonna at least ride him about three times um before i turn him out so yes so i will do another vlog of like the fence and everything like that but right now there's nothing more i can do so i am going to end this video apologies about all the tears and things and yeah but i'm keeping it real for you guys because this is reality and if you guys have all been in the same situation where you've had a horse on box rest and like this time five months ago i didn't know I didn't know what I would be doing with him. I didn't know if I'd be even getting on him again, if I would be able to ride him again. I had no idea. I was saying to myself, I will be riding him again and keeping it positive. But actually, deep down, I had no idea um, if I'd ever get to sit behind his ears again. So I'm just elated and buzzing and I don't know what, the fact that I can get on him. Tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight, I don't think. <laughs> Oh, uh, because I'm going to ride him before I go to work, so it'll be about half past six, but I might be on him when it's dark. Don't worry, guys, I won't do that because I'm going out on the road. But um, I'll be up bright and early. I'll have no issue getting up in the morning. I won't be dreading coming up here so early and leading him out and trying not to get trampled on. I will be getting on him and taking him up that road. And I just, I don't know. I just... <laughs> apologies guys i put tease on my instagram story i mean you it will have all come out by now anyway because i will have probably put it on my instagram post 
um, once I actually get on him. But I've put a teaser of I could cry right now with a photo of Dan. It's really mean, I know, but I'm going to make you guys wait. I'm not saying anything tonight that I can get on him. And I probably will put a post up tomorrow once I'm on him and then the vlog will come out. But at the moment, you had a vlog out last night. You've got a vlog out tonight. I'll try and get this vlog out maybe tomorrow night. I'll get the ridden one out the night after. You're just going to have vlog, 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 vlog. Because I want to keep you guys all up to date. And I'm so excited for you guys to see this news. And yeah, apologies about the tears. But you guys have been on our whole journey. And I've wanted to keep it like that. I've wanted to show you what it's really what it's really been like and yeah i'm so happy i'm able to sit behind them again so please make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already don't worry guys i'm not gonna be rushing him whatsoever i'm going under the vet i'll be doing like i have been i'll be doing everything that the vet tells me to do we are going to be walking for three weeks and then when the vet comes out i should be able to start doing trot work with him um so yeah, but I don't care. Just the fact for me to be able to sit behind his ears. That's all I've wanted to do. So walking is absolutely fine. So yeah, stay tuned and I just can't believe it. Please make sure that you like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. And we celebrated with a Chinese.